You know, I'm a family physician, uh, practice medicine for a number of years, still practicing from time to time. Uh, I delivered hundreds of babies uh, back in the day, 70s and 80s. In those days, we had two-dimensional ultrasound. You could barely make out the form of the baby. Well, I'm also a father of four and a grandfather of two, and we're expecting a third, a daughter. And just the other day, I got to see the 4D ultrasound. Mm -hmm. And in one frame, you see her sucking her thumb, just as you would expect. In another, you see her spreading her toes, just like a little infant. With the third one, she's doing this. <laughs> she's saying, chill out, y'all. I'll be there soon. You know, the, in, in the area of surgery, we have doctors now who perform surgery uh, on fetuses, uh, saving their lives. And through that surgery, we've had a lot of advances. And one of those is to determine when they feel pain. You see, when they do surgery on the little fetus, they have to anesthetize that fetus, so the fetus goes under tremendous pain. And so we've learned from this that at least to add 20 weeks mid-pregnancy, and probably long before that, babies feel pain. The fetus feels pain just like you do. Now, how do you perform an abortion after the first trimester? You have to dismember that baby. You have to take it apart, literally limb from limb, and you have to puncture the skull, probably suck out the brain. So you see, we are, we're literally uh, creating tremendous pain. We're torturing the little fetus whenever we do abortions after the first trimester. And you know, we have a president who said that we shouldn't uh, have an in enhanced interrogation because that's not who we are. Uh, you know, we have a humane society and a society for prevention of cruelty to animals, to protect animals, as we should. But who is speaking out today for the little baby still inside the womb, the warmth of its mother, who has to undergo pain and then only to have it like <coughs> then. I would just say to you today in closing, Dr. Gosnell is no aberration. Mm -hmm. We know that this is happening all across America. And people are turning their eyes away from it. We know that his clinic was only expected uh, probably three times in 30 years. We know the only reason why he was caught doing this is because they suspected that he had a pill mill, which he did have. See, this was all about money for Dr. Gosnell. This was not for some elevated thought or principle. He was just simply making a lot of money and causing a lot of pain, not only for babies and fetuses, but for the mothers as well. So in closing, I would just say to you, we have a lot of work to do. And yes, we oppose, everyone up here oppose abortion, even in the first trimester. But there's a greater issue here, and that is what are we doing to the fetus? What, are, what kind of pain and torture are we causing, particularly after the first trimester? That's why we need to have an absolute ban on abortions after 20 weeks. And I am so fully in support of this bill and Fred Price, and I thank you.